that's where I'm going to get here. I'm doing another movie review. The last movie review I did was Meg, and that was about four months ago, I, I presume. But this time I recently watched Glass, and I recently also watched it in IMAX. I know the IMAX theater in my hometown, San Francisco. And I really liked Glass. There was two other movies based before it, Split and Unbreakable. I liked both those movies. Let's have a quick recap about Unbreakable. Unbreakable is about a man who is Bruce Willis, who is in a tragic train accident. He's a sole survivor of this crash. And then there's a man, Samuel Jackson, that is super fragile, Burns, and who is really smart. And he has very fragile bones. And he. And that's the story of Unbreakable. Because, like, they think this man, Bruce Willis, is, like, indestructible. And the story of Split is about a man who think, who has 23 personalities in him. And all just trying to fight for the light as he kidnaps. One of the personalities kidnaps three teenage girls. And keeps them captive in, in his basement. And then Glass. Now this is the main part of the review. Glass was really good. I think compared to both the movies. I think it was worse than both. But I think all three of these movies were great. I liked Glass the least. Because I think it was kind of slow. There wasn't too much action. I think M. Night Shyamalan did a lot of great work with all three of these movies. And hopefully I can see a fourth entry into this kind of franchise. And so Glass... So it was about both of them. They're all based in Philadelphia, which is most of M. Night Shyamalan's movies are based in Philadelphia. And so all three of them are in Philadelphia. And so it's Bruce Willis finds out about the guy who kidnapped three teenagers. And he is trying to find the person who kidnapped them. And then he finds him, but they get arrested and take, get taken to a special ops hospital to get to make sure that they think they are that they they don't have powers that it's all in their head and then that's the premise of glass now i think the acting was great i think the actor for kevin who is the guy with 23 personalities he should not he should have gotten an oscar for this but obviously it was in January, and the Oscars are already out, so it was a bit late. And then all these movies are released in February, January, which is all time because Split was released in February eight, seven actually. And he would have definitely gotten a Academy Award nomination for Best Actor. And so the plot, like I said, a bit slow, but still good. If you're not into much action, but I'm into action. And overall, good movie. Out of five, I'll give it. Actually, let's do it out of ten. I think I'll give it an eight out of ten. And then the other entries, I give nine out of ten and then ten out of ten. Okay? Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe down below if you liked.